Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, I was going to do my Friday Reads video, but then I remembered that I wanted to do this. And I know from the title you're probably like, what? Wait, what's going on here? Okay, so let me explain myself. Um, if you watched last week's Friday Reads video, you guys know that um, they were working around the house and they had turned the internet off for pretty much two days and um, it was off on Thursday and it was off on Friday until they got until like around seven o'clock at night and um, on that Thursday there wasn't anything to do obviously um, with no internet so I ended up reading the rest of this book which was I mean I had only read like 20 pages of, of it so I read the rest of it and then the next day there wasn't anything to do again so I read another book and um, and it just got me thinking about like you know the hold that the internet has on everyone and you know I don't know why all of a sudden I started thinking about it but it just got me thinking about everything and then something sort of just like popped up in my head and I was just like wow I could turn this into something for myself so um, when the internet got turned back on I was of course right back on my laptop and I was still thinking about the books that I had read and I was really surprised because usually I'm a very very slow reader um, and sometimes you know I can get to like uh, people can read like you know five books a week or like ten books a week or some shit like that um, but I'm not like that and the fact that I read two books in two days really kind of just like it shocked me a little bit and um, I wanted this year to be a good reading year for me and so far I think it's been a really great reading year so far and so what I wanted to do was that I wanted to um, read 100 pages before I get on my laptop for the day and uh, before I get onto the you know internet for the day and so I was like you know what I could turn this into something for myself and see you know how it works out so, I, as I said, Saturday the internet got turned back on. That Saturday morning, um, I woke up and I read 100 pages, and actually 100 and something pages, and then I got on to the internet. And then the next day was Sunday, and I read um, 100 pages, got back on the internet, and I was like, okay, this is going okay. Then Monday comes, I did 100. Tuesday, 100. Wednesday and Thursday, they were kind of difficult for me because Wednesday and Thursday I had appointments, I had things I had to do, so it was kind of like hectic. Wednesday I got, I think maybe 60 pages read, Thursday maybe like 20. And you know, things like this, things happen, life happens, you, it, it, it's not all going to go perfectly, is pretty much what I'm saying. So Wednesday and Thursday didn't go well, but it didn't bother me that much. And then today is Friday that I'm recording this. Um, I haven't read anything yet, um, and I'm not. And I have my laptop right here, and it is closed. It's not on. And I'm going to read um, some of this book that I'm reading right here, and um, you know, see how this goes. I'm gonna continue to do this. Um, I'm not gonna make it a chore. I'm not gonna make it something that I'm forcing myself to do. Because I feel like when you do that, it becomes a burden, and then it becomes something that you have to do, and then you don't do it anymore. And you know, you might never know, I might stop doing it, but um, I really feel like this is good for me because I'm reading a lot more than I used to, um, and the only problem with this whole thing is that I read on my bed, because I don't have my reading chair anymore, because it broke. Um, I didn't break it, okay, um, it was in the garage, and the kids were fucking with it, and it it went to hell and I read on my bed so I tend to fall asleep a lot so I'll be sitting there reading Oops, something fell off the wall I'll be sitting there reading and I will just knock out so that's a problem because a lot of times I've knocked out and I just kind of like wake up and I'm like wait you're supposed to be reading stop so I need to figure something out with that. If you guys have any tips for me, like I could sit in my desk chair and read, but it's not that comfortable. So 
I don't know, like the bed is just so comfortable, I just, I just, I just end up knocking out. That's the only problem. Um, but I feel like this is a good thing for me to do because, again, I'll get more reading done and I did want this to be a good reading year. And I feel like I need to read more because, you know, I'm an author and I write and you gotta read more than you write. And I just, I want things to get better for myself. I was going through some really hard things a while back. I'm still not really over a lot of things that were happening and I just feel like I want things to turn out really well. Um, so this is something that I'm doing. I'm calling it the hashtag read100. This is something that you can actually do as well. Um, it's not like a, you know, like a, a reading, read-a-thon or something like that. It's something that you can implement into your life and just try it out. Um, it's not something that you have to force yourself to do. It's something that if you're interested in getting more reading done, you can do. And 100 pages may seem like a lot to a lot of people, but really, once you're into a story, it ain't, it ain't shit. So, I think that so far, it's only been a week, but things are going pretty well. I'm going to update you guys again, and then again, and then again throughout the year. And we're gonna see how this works out. Um, you know, I'm really excited about it, um, and I really hope that if you want to join in, which I think you should, because it's, you know, get more reading done. Um, use the hashtag and spread the word, and might be more people get in, get get into it. I wouldn't necessarily call it a reading challenge. It was more of an experiment for me, but I guess you can call it a reading challenge. And I normally don't like enter those or like. I'm a part of those because I feel like they put a lot of pressure and you feel like you have to do these things. But for me, this is a little bit much more of a breeze, like it's something that you just can do. If you don't do it, it ain't no big deal. Um, and you know, if you go out, if you go one week with doing it and two days you miss not reading and getting on the internet, it's perfectly fine. It really is. All that you have to do is just, you know, read. Read. If you don't, if you miss two days, you miss two days. It ain't shit. And, um, life happens, things happen. Sometimes you may not even feel like reading, and that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, and that's just how it is. For me, this week, I was actually pretty good with it, and I'm really, really, really surprised, you guys. Really, really, really surprised. Because I was like, I'm gonna do this, because I stop. I, listen, this is how, this is me. Like with my books, I write, like, a lot of a book, and then I just drop it. It's really difficult to, for my attention, so I'll watch a TV show, and it's already maybe it's already done. I'll watch like two seasons, and then the rest of the seasons I won't watch for maybe another year or two. And with this, I was like, you're going to start it, go two days with it, or a day, and then you're just not going to do it anymore. That's, that's the mindset that I was had when I started, and the fact that it's Friday, well, I haven't read anything yet today, that it's Friday, and... I went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, reading 100 pages, except those two days. That's like crazy to me. It's crazy to me. So I am super grateful that the internet went out that those two days because that's the reason why I'm doing this. Because I, as I said, I felt like, you know, the internet has this hold on us and then we forget the things that we enjoy a lot more that have nothing really to do with the internet and it just felt it just felt really good you know to sit there and to read and and you know not to worry and you know you the things that are on the internet will be there when you get on there you know nothing's gonna like go away or anything like that so and that's another thing that was going through my head was like you know oh you gotta check your emails you gotta check your YouTube comments and all this stuff, but then I was like, but I could do that later, you know? So, again, as I said, it's going pretty good so far. I might jinx myself, but, you know, hopefully not. Let's find some wood to knock on. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go the next week and see how that goes as well. And then in uh, May or June, I will give you guys another update to see how everything's going and then you guys can let me know how it's going or you guys can make your own videos on your channels or on Twitter if you don't have a channel. Um, you can go on Twitter and you can let me know or on Instagram you can let me know anywhere. You can let me know how this is going for you because I care and 
I'm really, really excited about this. So I guess I am sort of creating a reading challenge, but not really. Like, it's something that is, you know, you can do it, you can not do it, you can fuck up, you can not fuck up. It's, it's a whatever type of challenge. So again, it's called the Re100 Challenge, and it is um, hopefully going to work out for me. Um, so yeah, so again, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can read some of this. Um, I am currently reading Lisa and Poe by Lauren Oliver. And look at that. It is so really, it's really, really pretty. Um, so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I like the illustrations in it. I think it's so cute. And I'm, I think it's going to, like, I have a feeling it's going to be a really good book at the end. Like, I just, I'm excited about it. But yeah, so I will see you guys next time with another video, more than likely next week. I don't know when, because this weekend's going to be a little bit busy. So that's why there's something else that might, you know, this weekend might get a little bit messed up, because tomorrow is a library book sale. So I'm going to go to that, because I want to see if they have the rest of the a series, a series of unfortunate events um, there. And then when I come home, maybe I'll get some reading done, and then, you know, have you know, get online and all that stuff like that but um sunday have nothing going on so sunday should be fine but again you can join you can not join please use the hashtag because that is how i'll be able to sort of keep up with everybody in a way and let me know below if you will be doing it um and i you know i think it's really fun yes we're already into march march is already going to be over but it's not something that is supposed to take a year it's just a thing to do you know but yeah, so I know this video was long, but I don't care. It's just, it's something that I feel like is really important to me and I wanted to talk about it. And I know a lot of you on Instagram, you guys left a lot of comments on there saying that you were really, really excited about it. And that just made me even more excited about it. So, yeah. Alright. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.